Wouldn't it be great to know that your ads will work for sure before spending any money? Well, in this video, I'll show you exactly how I'm able to test ads for free without putting any money down. So I'm able to test the market, get some feedback, and only launch them paid if the audience really likes it. So I'm able to focus on the winners and avoid spending any money on losing ads. So if you're wasting too much money on losing ads that don't get you any results, you'll be able to instead pivot your ad spend towards the winners and sign a lot more clients. So I'll go over the three phases of ideation, of testing, and then of launching your new ads. So this entire process is really important because most coaches end up launching new ads and they put some money behind it and they basically just throw money at the wind hoping that something sticks, but you really don't have to. If you're right now testing new ads with your own money, you could be wasting thousands of dollars every single month. And instead, what we'll be doing here is that we're gonna go through the testing phase so we can eliminate all the bad ads that wouldn't get you results anyways and focus on the winners. So this whole strategy will seem pretty simple, but it's something that, again, most people aren't doing. And it took me a lot of money to finally get here. Back in 2022, 2023, when we were launching our ad campaigns, I was using 0% funding to test these new ads. So I didn't have to take money out of my own pocket, but I was spending so much money just to find those winners. So we were spending a couple hundred dollars every single day and just to find one or two winning ads. And I probably wasted between 30 to $40,000 just to find these winners. And it was money that I just threw out the window. So using this strategy, you'll be able to save a lot of money and you'll be able to narrow everything down towards the winners so you make a lot more money. So the first phase here is the ideation phase. So creating the winning ad that will then test and launch as a paid ad. So a good ad is going to attract the attention of the people that we want it's gonna provide value and it'll call them to action. So to get the attention of the people that we want, we need a very good hook. So I usually say three different elements to a good hook. So the first one here is going to be visually attractive. So a lot of people are scrolling on Instagram, on TikTok, they have very, very low attention spans. Most of it just looks boring and mundane and all looks the same. So you wanna do something that's different, that grabs the attention. So could you have some kind of a cool background? Or maybe outside or in the car? Could you maybe wear something different or a cool hairstyle or maybe some cool background with some bright colors, right? So something that just looks different that gets the attention. Another way to get attention is having some kind of a pattern interrupt. So some kind of movement. A lot of the times you might see ads that have a baseball flying at the screen, but I also like to have maybe a snap at the beginning or a clap. So there might be some kind of a loud noise or some kind of movement that throws them off their scroll. And the final way to have a good hook is to say something different. So you can either have a intonation of your voice that's very loud or maybe very soft so that people kind of lean in. It's also what you say. So it could be something bold or emotionally triggering. So for example, if you're running some kind of a fitness offer, you might call them out on being out of shape, right? So triggering that emotion. So if we do this, now we have the attention of the leads that we want and then the value. So the value is going to be very relevant for the right people that we want. So we need to think about the stage that they're at and what kind of challenges they're kind of running into right now and also make it very important again about the stage because if you're helping someone scale their business for example and you're saying something about starting a business you're going to attract the wrong people so make sure you provide value on the challenges that your leads currently have right now and break it down into three or five pillars so that it's very easy to digest then finally you want a call to action so the call to action is what you want them to do so do you want them to follow your page you want them to dm you for a free ebook for example or maybe click on the link I like to have the call to action at the end, but also somewhere in the middle because a lot of people don't watch the entire video. So you can sprinkle in the call to action very quickly in the middle and then a little bit more in depth at the end. But if you put all this together, now you're gonna have a winning ad that is going to work that we can then test to see what exactly is gonna work the best and then put that money behind it. So now we have phase two, which is the testing phase. So the goal here is to grab all of your ads test them out and put all of our attention on the ones that perform the best. So a lot of coaches, they spend a lot of money to figure this out, but you won't have to. So what we'll do here is that we're going to record your ad like you normally would, but then we're going to post it organically. The goal is to get some feedback from your current audience. And if you've been posting some content or you've ran some ads, you probably already have some dream avatars and we're gonna see how they react to your ads. Because again, a lot of people, they just try to spend some money and see what their cold audience that doesn't know them and how they react but we can actually test first with your warm and your hot audience because these ads are always going to also speak to them. So the whole purpose here is that we're going to then test these organic posts and see how people react 
through their likes, their comments, and their shares. So ideally, you wanna record a couple different videos and test them all at the same time, and then we can focus on the best one. So I like to record three to five different videos. I post them throughout the week, and then we wait about a week or so, and then we can see which one got the most engagement. And then that will be the winner that we'll then use towards our paid ads, so that we know already that people are liking it, they already have some kind of an emotion towards it because they're engaging, and now that we know that our warm audience likes it, will have a better idea on what a cold audience will like as well. So now we have phase three, which is the actual launching of your ad. So this is a fun part. Now we're gonna be putting some money behind it so that we can now generate a lot more leads and close a lot more deals. So if you've already gone through phase one and phase two, you have some good ads, you've tested them, you've gotten some engagement, and hopefully you found at least one or two winners. So if you didn't really get that much engagement from your ads in part two, go back and recreate some new ads that hopefully will get some more engagement. That's the whole purpose here of phase one and two of the ideation and testing phases so we can find these winners. If you didn't get any winners, then go back and create some new ones. But once we do have some posts that got engagements through likes, comments, and shares, then we know that our warm audience likes it and hopefully a cold audience will like it as well. So all we have to do now is just grab that same video, go on the meta platform and start to put some ad spend behind it. And now that we know that we got some engagement on our audience, we know that most likely a cold audience is going to like it as well. So this entire process allows you to focus down on the very best videos that you have. And now you're also gonna understand how to better narrow down your focus in the future. So this will save you a lot of money. You're gonna get the best results, get the best ROAS, close the most deals, and ultimately just scale your business a lot further. So that's the entire three-phase process right there for creating winning ads, testing them for free, and then launching them. So to recap everything, you want to get some ideas by looking at the competition on how they frame it and how they provide their value. And then we're gonna create our own winning ads by breaking it down with an effective hook that grabs attention. We're gonna deliver massive value on the current challenges that they have in three or five pillars, and then we're gonna call them to action. So once we have our different ads, then we're gonna test them for free by posting them organically, seeing which ones get the most engagement, and the one or two ads that perform the best, now we're gonna put some ad spend behind it. So hopefully this video is very helpful for you. Now you're gonna have the ability to test a lot more ads and narrow down your focus on the very best ones so you get the most results out of your ad spend and hopefully sign a lot more clients. So if this is helpful for you, make sure you follow my channel and you subscribe for more. You can go and check out all my other videos here about ads and growing your business and then I'll see you on the next one.